You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports. Yesterday I did a video where Kyrie Irving decided all Boston Celtics fans, all Boston fans were racist. That's right. A lunatic flat earther decided to jump out there and further destroy the NBA by deciding to label into an entire city as a bunch of racists. Interesting. An entire fan base, wherever you may be. Look, when I did watch the NBA, I was a Celtics fan. Kyrie Irving is a lunatic, and I'm just going to keep it real with you. Kyrie Irving's got a really piss-poor work ethic. He does. He takes... He takes days off, stretches the time off for nothing. If he's gotten his little feelings hurt about something, the son of a bitch rides the pine, okay, or just doesn't bother to show up. So you get my point. I mean, there's a big three, and I think they literally played uh, ten games together all year. Ten games. Yeah, you know, believe it or not, the only one that showed up on that team is fat-ass James Harden. That's the only son of a bitch that showed up on that team. All year long. Uh, Kevin Kevin Durant, occasionally. He'll check in every now and then. But you get the point. Well, anyway. Anyway, Stephen A. Smith was the voice of reason. (laughs) Wow. Are we kicking it old school on ESPN all of a sudden? Somehow I doubt it. But there was a time when Stephen A. Smith could give a lucid take okay an actual take that did not have something to do with being woke social justice etc etc usually back in the good old days of first take remember skip bayless against stephen a smith it honestly pretty good television i used to watch it regularly well we know how espn rolls how espn rolls they get down just i mean hell we could we literally we literally created this shirt i'm wearing our old school esp cnn shirt the worldwide leader in woke grab it out of the merch store use promo code lachina sucks sux for 15 percent off i'm wearing this shirt because espn has sold out to everybody the marxist espn of china but once in a blue moon, the guy that used to actually go on with Bill O'Reilly on Fox News, him and Bill O'Reilly are really good friends. Well, he stepped out there and gave a blatant good take and destroyed, with an extra D at the end, destroyed Kyrie Irving, who is an idiot, and Stephen A. Smith lined his tail out. Stephen A. Smith blasts Kyrie Irving for blaming Boston's vitriol towards him on racism. You're not the enemy because you're black. Good God, we've been saying that. As the Brooklyn Nets go on the road to continue their first-round series with the Celtics, Kyrie Irving hopes to return to Boston, is free of, quote, racism from the fans. You are a imbecile. Quote, it's not the first time being an opponent in Boston, so I'm looking forward to competing with my teammates and hopefully we can keep it strictly basketball. Keep it strictly basketball? You idiots have ruined the league. You literally put a Marxist organization's advertisement on your court for an entire season. You idiot. All through your playoffs, you tank the ratings, Your supposed leader of the league has run his mouth about everything, and now you're asking the fans to keep it strictly about basketball? Kyrie, go F yourself. Really? Quote, there's no belligerence or any racism going on. Subtle racism or people yelling shit from the crowd. Dude, you get paid $33 million a year. Okay, nobody should be yelling racist shit at you. I get that. But at the same time, if they want to hurt your little feelings about basketball, they deserve to be able to do it. But even if it is, it's part of the nature of the game, and we're going to just focus on what we can control. Boston has a reputation of targeting black athletes, with incidents occurring as recently as 2017. 
when former MLB outfielder Adam Jones claimed he was taunted with racial slurs several times by Red Sox fans. Did anybody get that on a camera phone anywhere on a recording? Because if you can't produce it, I'm really skeptical. i got to be honest with you. But ESPN's Stephen A. Smith slammed Irving for blaming his tarnished relationship with Boston on racism. Instead, Smith believes Irving needs to accept some responsibility for the city's bitterness towards the seven-time NBA All-Star. Quote, Kyrie Irving was wrong to do this. He was flat out wrong, Smith said, because I don't think this is about race at all. If you go to a Boston Celtics fan when they are against you, it's because you're not a Boston Celtic. That is a fact. Take it from a Celtics fan. You are the enemy on the court. It's not because you're black. I'll get to the Celtics in a minute, too. Smith acknowledged racism exists in Boston, but there are race issues all over the country. Let's not act like it's confined to the streets of Boston, Massachusetts, which, by the way, voted almost entirely Democrat in that county. I'm just throwing that out there, Joe Biden supporters. He's negating his role in the vitriol he's received, and he's anticipating receiving it from Boston fans. Smith pointed specifically to an event in 2018 that Irving attended when the All-Star Guard stood up and told the Boston crowd, I have every intention on re-signing with this team if you'll have me. Irving then spurred the Celtics to sign with the Nets in 2019. After two injury-plagued seasons in Boston, good riddance to that jerk. Might that not have something to do with them disliking you? You are now the enemy. I don't care who you are. You are white. You are black. If you ain't a Boston Celtic and you're going about to go against the Celtics, whatever they find to talk about you, they believe has the potential to get under your nerves, they will do that. They're getting at you strictly for basketball reasons, not because you're black. I got to give it up to Stephen A. Smith. This one time, he had a flashback to being a lucid sports commentator. My God, Stephen A., where have you been this whole time? He actually come out. He could not be more correct. If you're no longer in a Celtics uniform, no, nah, man, we're not messing with you, okay? You are the enemy, all right? You are the enemy. But I got to be honest with you. Speaking from every Celtics fan, we're glad you're gone, homie. We are glad, bro. We don't want you on the team. Frankly, we didn't like you when we were there, all right? It's got nothing to do with race. It's got to do with Kyrie Irving, your lack of work ethic. Your work ethic is trash. And to you Celtics players, I swear, every time you play the Celtics, you act like Kyrie Irving after the game is still on the team. Good God. Have you guys ever watched a game with the Chief Robert Parrish, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Dennis Johnson, Danny Ainge, Those guys on the basketball court at the time during competition before and after the game in the arena, you were an enemy. Okay? You were an enemy. Quit acting like this guy is still playing for you. It's embarrassing. It's unlike any Celtics team I've ever seen play. Kyrie made a decision and left you guys. So stop it. I love the fact that Stephen A. Smith stepped out and actually nailed Kyrie, made it clear, look, man, you left him high and dry after you made a promise to stay with the team. God, I'm glad you broke that promise. Don't let the door hit you in the ass, Kyrie Irving, you lazy turd. You are ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is more wokeness that has destroyed the NBA. I'm trying to clean my cursing up on the channel. I could cuss Kyrie Irving all day long. I can't stand lazy-ass sports players. I can't. This is after growing up with Barkley and Jordan and all these guys, Larry Bird, 
Robert Parrish, these guys, Bill Russell was a pit bull. And then you got players like Kyrie Irving. Good God, man. Retire and go research how flat the earth is some more. Okay? Oh, you're pathetic. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.